In the countries of East Africa, water is scarce. It only rains here twice a year, leaving precious little time to raise crops and livestock before the next dry season descends. During the dry season, you'll tend to find that the community has to walk for more than 10 kilometers in most areas in the Asal, arid and semi-arid lands in search of water. Climate change means ever longer periods without rainfall. Food and water security concerns affect everyone. During the dry season, you tend to find that the community has to dig a very deep wells to access that water. That is why we decided to construct sand dams to raise the water table and to make the community members to access the water much nearer the surface. Using a simple ancient sand dam technology, the Utuni Development Organization has been able to capture rainfall and provide clean water to local communities all year round. A sand dam is a concrete wall constructed across a seasonal river for the purpose of harvesting runoff during the rain season. Two or three weeks after the rains, you find that there is no water. Sand dams are constructed on seasonal rivers to harvest as much runoff as possible during the rain season for the community to utilize the water that is harvested behind the wall. Men and women from three local villages are volunteering to build a sand dam along the river they all share. It will only take a week to complete, but will provide enough water for everyone in the community throughout the year. Sand dams have a social, environmental, and also an economic impact. When we talk about the environmental impact that these sand dams have created, it is quite huge. They help to replenish the flora and fauna in that particular environment. The community is able to irrigate vegetables for household use, consumption, and also they can sell the surplus to generate some income. More than 1,500 sand dams have been constructed, and nearly 3,000 farmers have been trained in water management and sustainable farming practices. The initiative has provided water and food security for tens of thousands of people across East Africa.